this is a mess but this is why we don't believe all women always throw out the story if you can't get the story from the other party because women will always tell the story that makes them look the best so i said that platinum games ain't shit if they only offer her four thousand dollars with this new information assuming that it's true twenty thousand dollars for what 40 to 50 hours assuming that they they assuming that they're 10 hour session that's more than enough for somebody who's not really a household name i'm erring more on the side of there was some type of miscommunication because there is no way that she came out and blasted platinum games like that with with a blatant lie not knowing that they was gonna tell the truth about uh what are y'all doing we're a lot of us are average joes out here why the hell are you caping for elitist it's not your job to get them paid and we're back ladies and gentlemen my name is atreus i'm coming at you live from the atl bringing you more pop culture news centering around video games movies tv shows and everything else in between today we got to talk about an update on the helena taylor situation we're going to get into it right after the drop what makes you think that i'm an answer if you ain't mine even if you call me up on all right, team, you already know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the red subscribe button, and then go into the description. Follow me on all the socials, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, whatever the case may be. Let me know that you're a sub, and I will follow you back, all right? Um, let's get into the news. So, yesterday, we got a report from Bloomberg. Jason Schreier, this guy seems like, is it me, or is he's literally that fly on the wall that, like, he gets all the fucking scoops, all the stories, everything but uh yesterday he reported that platinum offered helena taylor between three thousand and four thousand per session for at least five sessions according to two people familiar with the deal and documentation viewed by bloomberg in response the people said taylor asked for a six-figure fee and residuals negotiations fell apart taylor denies this account in an email to Bloomberg, she called that version of events an absolute lie and said the, that Platinum is trying to save their ass and the game. Okay, and then um, this was this was um, posted by Young Yeah, by the way. Um, and then that story was corroborated by VGC, who said the same thing. Platinum wanted to rehire her last summer, uh, three three thousand to four thousand per session, four to five sessions equals 15, 15k minimum so that can range anywhere between 15,000 to 20,000 significant increase over her pay for Bayonetta 2 uh can convert can confirm the residuals claim and so and then you can see right here uh angry joe uh he says no longer boycotting Bayonetta 3 if this is true Helena Taylor has some some major explaining to do as it appears she misled us and thus lied about lied by omission. She gave us the impression that she was only offered four thousand. A shameful lie. Hope she has receipts, and this could get legal. This is a mess. But this is why we don't believe all women. <laughs> you just listen. I beg you. Whenever you go into a dating situation with a female and you ask her about her previous dating situations, always throw out the story if you can't get the story from the other party. Because women will always tell the story that makes them look the best. So, in this situation, now remember what I said. I didn't deny her or whatever the case. I said that Platinum Games ain't shit if they only offer her $4,000. That's what I said. But now, with this new information, assuming that it's true. We got to assume that it's true. And there's no reason to believe that this is like concrete like the truth you know what i'm saying so we see documents but assuming that this is true fifteen thousand to twenty thousand for five sessions i mean how long are these sessions i can't imagine they're no more than 10 hours long right twenty thousand dollars for what 40 to 50 hours assuming that they they <laughs> assuming that they're 10 hour sessions right i doubt they're 10 hour sessions but i'm giving it the benefit of the doubt that's more than enough for somebody who's not really a household name, remember, guys, the inter the internet uh, the entertainment business works a little bit different, right? When we go into a job, we say, "Hey, this is my skill set, based on other you know 
jobs or whatever the case may be. This is what my skill set is worth. Here's my experience. Here's my education, whatever the case may be. And then it's worth X amount of dollars. Entertainment is different. It doesn't matter if you do the same amount of work. It doesn't matter if you have the same amount of experience. It doesn't matter. All right. If somebody has a bigger name than you and they can draw more attention to your project, more eyes to your film, your movie, more gamers to your game, they're going to get paid more. So if they had replaced Helena Taylor with uh, somebody like Scarlett Johansson to do Bayonetta's voice, she would have got paid by the millions, which is why they don't go and get big names like that because I guess they figure they can't afford it. So, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm more, and listen, we don't know if Helena Taylor lied or not. I'm erring more on the side of there was some type of miscommunication because there's no way that she came out and blasted platinum games like that with with a blatant lie not knowing that they was gonna tell the truth about it so somebody either somebody lying or there was just some type of miscommunication maybe there was some negotiating but it's like your lawyers would like i, I can't imagine she was negotiating without a lawyer right your lawyer how would your lawyer fuck that communication up or maybe her lawyer explained something to her and maybe she i don't know but somebody lying. And I just, I have a hard time believing that Platinum Games disrespected somebody so bad to only offer them $4,000 for that. Especially asking for five sessions. 4000 for five? That doesn't even, like, what? Whatever. What I, and another thing I'm interested in is, why were y'all so, like, I, I thought, I said that I wasn't boycotting the game. There's no way fuck out of here you're gonna have to provide me with some proof or whatever but i'm starting to see a lot of y'all were really like trying to boycott this game i didn't i didn't watch uh um, angry joe's video on this situation so i would have never assumed that he would have boycotted the game for this uh what are y'all doing well i guess i can understand joe because you know he he's well off or whatever the case may be but we're, a lot of us are average Joes out here. Why the hell are you caping for elitists? It's not your job to get them paid. They get paid. Think about it. You work 40 hours a week, and you, you'll you be lucky enough to get $1,500 in your bank account after taxes. She works 25 to 40 hours and, get, and, and can possibly make $20,000, and you're going to cape because you don't feel like she gets paid enough? Stop doing this. All right? It is not your job to cape and stand up for these these actors or artists or whatever the case may be that's their fight that is not your fight so please if you were going to boycott this game because you felt like she wasn't getting paid enough you out your wabbit, wabbit ass mind yes i said wabbit all right anyway y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments um did she lie or was it just miscommunication we're going to see because it seems like this is going to this is going to turn into something legal Somebody lying, all right? Nah, I just, I don't know. I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, but somebody lying. <laughs> all right, now let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. I'll talk to y'all later. Let's go, let's go. Hey, hey. Beat that thing down like you started a tantrum, my baby. You had some plans with your man, just tell him to cancel, my baby.